I have this pine board that measures four feet by nine inches. I get them from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using some mini foam rollers. They are cabinet and door foam rollers. I get these from Home Depot. And I will start by applying some Wise Owl White Primer. You want to cover your board and you can also give it a second coat if needed. Once that was dry, I then took some Wise Owl Snow Owl paint and I rolled that on top of the white primer. Now, of course, you can pick any colors of your choice. I like to do my boards in a white background. I'm then going to apply a coat of some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. I like to use the matte finish. And you want everything to fully dry in between steps. I will be working with this Happy Fall Y'all stencil that can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm going to start by taping the Happy at the top of my board and using a foam dabber, I'm going to apply some Wise Owl Dijon. And the key with this is you want to just do a small amount of paint and lightly dab. You may have to go over it a couple of times, but you do not want to apply too much paint as that's when you get a lot of bleeding. And then you will lift this off. And I like to connect my letters. I just take a small art brush and just in a dabbing motion, I connect where all the letters are supposed to meet. And then I'm going to repeat the same exact thing at the bottom using the word y'all. Now, please keep in mind that everyone's hand is a little different. Debbie is really great at applying these stencils. That's why you probably see her mostly doing the porch leaners. But I do want to be encouraging. If you do get a little bleeding, my board has bleeding. I'm going to show you how you could fix it. Sometimes you just kind of have to go with it. It's not always going to be crisp. I'm then going to take the four letters that spell out fall and I'm going to place them in between the happy and the y'all. Now I'm going to make sure everything is nice and even starting with my letter F and I'm going to use some painter's tape to hold everything down. Now you can see here I'm ripping small pieces of painter's tape just to connect the stencil to make sure nothing moves on me. I want it to be connected to the board and I don't want to paint onto my white. So I'm going to take a new foam roller and I'm going to be using the Wise Owl Fireside and I'm going to roll in both a vertical and horizontal motion until all of my letters are covered. Now please note that where each letter connects, I did not put a full piece of tape across. So I was really trying to avoid letting it hit the edge there as it will bleed underneath that stencil. But remember, we did apply some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear before our stencil, which is a very important step as this is going to help if we do get any bleeding. So you could see here when I lifted the F and where the A meet, there was some bleeding and also by the A and the L. But I'm just going to take a baby wipe. You could do a wet cloth and wipe it up right away. And because I had that barrier of the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear, that really saved me from ruining this part of the project. Now I'm going to connect my letters here as well. And once everything is fully dry, I'm going to do a light sanding. I do not want to hit too much of the white. I want that one hour enamel clear to be on there nicely. So you just need a sanding block and I'm going to just lightly sand at this point. And then you can blow off any excess dust with your blow dryer. Next, I'm going to be using this transfer that can be found on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. It's called Crunchy Leaves Forever. It comes with three sheets, and I'm going to be using the two colorful sheets. I'm going to cut out all the different leaves and just spread them out so I can kind of see the different sizes and styles that I have. And now I'm going to just place them on my board. I'm kind of just making a plan at this point. You can have them falling down the board however you like. You can add as many as you'd like. And once I had somewhat of a game plan, I'm going to start laying them down. So the white protective sheet comes off the back. 
you lay the transfer down on your board and you use this tool to lightly rub on top of the clear sheet and as you rub the clear sheet will start to lift and your image will adhere to your project. Now remember when we added the one hour enamel clear before we added the stencil, it's really important that you have a nice slick surface for these transfers to adhere to. So I just placed all of the transfers where I was happy with them laying. Once you stick them down on your surface, you cannot lift it back up. You're just going to rub on the clear sheet and as you rub, your image will stick to your surface. And I did that until I had all of the leaves placed where I was happy with them. So at this point, I'm just rubbing all the transfers down. And I just wanted to show you here how I took this. There was bleeding and I just really distressed it. If you do get bleeding, just go with it. Take your sanding block, and I thought this looked really nice with the letters all distressed, and I'm going to then top coat it after I remove all the sanding dust with a coat of Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. And there you go. I really hope this was helpful. I hope everybody gives this a try. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. Have a great day.